The Ukraine crisis is the topmost worry of the Western world despite Omicron breaking records of COVID-19 cases in several countries, particularly in Europe and America in the four weeks of 2022. Russia has amassed troops on three sides of Ukrainian border, with the western side being guarded by the US-led NATO, North Atlantic Treaty Organization forces. There is a serious threat that Russian President Vladimir Putin may order invasion of Ukraine any morning. The US and the UK have warned of severe consequences for Russia and Putin. Both countries have threatened to sanction Putin, the person, and not only the government that the 69-year-old Russian leader has been heading in some form or other for more than 21 years. To keep NATO at a distance, Putin ordered annexation of Crimea in 2014. Before that in 2008, Russia had invaded Georgia, which is still hoping to become a full-fledged member of NATO. Russia's aggression in Crimea signaled the beginning of Russia's reassertion on global scale. Putin intervened in Syria in 2015. Russia and Putin's alleged interference in the 2016 US presidential election became a global talking point. Muscular Russian policy continued with fourth presidential election of Putin in 2018. The constitution was tweaked to make it possible for Putin to stay in office till 2036. During the pandemic, Putin made it a point to announce the first COVID-19 vaccine in the world as early as mid-August 2020. The entire scientific community viewed it with suspicion but Putin became a champion of Russian Slav nationalism at home. This gave him the confidence to challenge the US-led West over Ukraine with greater military risk. Putin feels threatened by NATO presence in its neighborhood the same way the US perceives threat from China's military expansion. Back in 2014, when Putin dismembered Ukraine, Barack Obama had announced, Europe and America are united in our support of the Ukrainian government and the Ukrainian people. We are united in imposing a cost on Russia for its actions so far. The US's Defense Department, Pentagon said, we continue to call for them to remove their troops from Crimea. Clearly, in Putin's worldview, the call need not be answered, neither in 2014 nor in 2022. Read, as tensions rise on Ukraine's border with Russia, here's all that you need to know.